Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here. In this review, I'm going to take a look at Jazzwares Zoteki Transformers statues, or a build a larger statue. There are six characters in the set. There's actually seven things released. There is a chase variant of the Starscream mold. I don't know if it's another Starscream or if they're doing Skywarp or Thundercracker. It just shows on the back of the packaging chase variant and it's the same color as our same shape or shadow figure as starscream so i don't know i haven't seen anything i haven't seen anything online about it so i don't know who it is or what it is uh someone else probably can enlighten me down in the comments but these are the six i got and i'm going to say right off the bat i realized after i got home with these and i bought these about a week ago now uh my grimlock does not have an autobot logo on his chest but yet on the back of the packaging you can't really see. Let's zoom in. There it is, right there, on his uh, chest. Doesn't have it on the uh, figure here in my package, so I don't understand what happened. I guess that's that's some great quality control right there. Uh, the figure looks fine. If you have something from uh, Toy Hacks, you can always just put it right there on them. But you know, it should have it on there. And I did go to the store today while I was working and find one with it on there. So what I'm going to do is take this one back and just keep uh, this one here. So we're going to open this one up. But this was my initial setup for what I was going to review was these six here. And then show off that he was missing that. And since I found one with it, we're going to review this guy. All right, so characters we get. We get a Starscream, Soundwave with Laserbeak, Megatron, Grimlock. Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. All right, so a quick look at the packaging. Here we have Bumblebee. Let's take a. This is an Autobot. Let's take a Decepticon. You can tell they do the Transformers in the colors that represent their factions: red for the Autobots, purple for the Decepticons. And you turn the side. The background, the grid is that way as well. Turn the side. You get some you no know, box art there on the there. Back you get what we just saw, and this side you get the box art again. And it's actually different box art. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You get two different things. We'll show off Optimus Prime. Sound like fell over. Why not? Prime. Get this one. It's all art we pretty much have seen somewhere before. Grimlock. Grimlock. Starscream. And Starscream. And Megatron. And whoo. Think all the way around. And Megatron. Now it says here on the front. Connect and create iconic scenes. It comes like a Cybertronian base. And then some have explosions. Some have like blast effects coming out of the things. And you will connect these bases together to form a big like little battlefield going on with your statues here. So let's go ahead and take them out. Look at each one individually and build our battlefield statue. Battle on Cybertron. Alright, so here is Megatron. I'm laughing just because the helmet on the head. It looks like a little kid. We picked up like a, a baseball helmet that or a football helmet that's too big for him and stuck it on his head and it's just you no know, it just looks overly large. Uh, that is how that looks. He looks sad. Oh my helmet's too big. It keeps falling over my eyes when I jump around. Uh that's this uh, it looks funny. It looks like a kid with an oversized helmet on. So yeah. These are just little I'm not saying these are high quality. They're like seven dollars and ninety-nine cents at Target. Very cheap, you know, you're, you know, buy them all, you're going to spend a little, you know, a pretty penny, but just buying one or two of your favorite characters, you're not spending a whole lot, so don't expect a whole lot, and it's a little, again, a niche market, these do not convert, there are statues that you can build what they call iconic scenes, uh, this right here looks like some bubbling jelly, with, uh, I uh, don't want to, something, uh, the female Transformers, the fin, Finbots seem to like. Uh, turn around to the back, look at Megatron. Uh, I mean, otherwise, is, he's not bad. I would say he's probably one of the weakest of the uh, ones I've seen. Just by looking in the packaging, he looks to be one of the weakest uh, of the molds here. A nice little blast effect right there coming out of his fusion cannon. It is painted. Uh, paint on him is decent. He's got a little scratch here on his crotch. I don't know how that happened, Megatron. RC digs me. Ever since I dumped a little one off for Optimus Prime. Alright, uh, it's not bad. I mean, you're going to put this together and see how it looks. Uh, details are, you know, few and far between. It's more like toy, uh, not toy, no. It's more in the cartoon sense of the details, so it's not overly detailed at all. 
All right, so here's Star Screen. Uh, he's got a black tarry mess in front of him, which I guess must be uh, you know smoke because he's taken off here, so it's forming the uh, smoke from the uh, flames coming out of his feet. He's got small little bitty rosebud, um, purple rosebud uh, fire blast blast effects. Can you think of the right word? And he's got a Cybertronian uh, city in the background, which you know I don't think anybody can fit in those buildings. So I mean. It's so close, but yet so small. Uh, again, more for the cartoon style, and actually have the signals, I believe, the right way, where they're upside down when he's in robot mode, so they'll be correct when he's in jet mode. Paint on this one is applied uh, pretty well. I don't really see any big flaws or anything. And he's not bad. He's, again, got a little oversized helmet over the face, but it's not like Megatron. It looks a little bit better here on Starscream. I like the little kind of smirky look there. Kind of like, yeah. Uh, I'm bad. I, I know it. Yeah, you're, you are bad. Uh, was, he's not bad at all. So, again, you see these little clips here. The little indentions. That's how you're going to be connecting these bases. So we can, like, take Megatron. And we can do, like... You can't shoot his ass in the back, can you? Yeah, like this. Or something. So let's take a look at Soundwave. And finish off the Decepticon. Alright, so here is Soundwave with Laser Beak. And he's ejecting him, so I don't know why he's coming out of his back. It should be coming out from the front, but I guess they didn't want to interrupt the actual sound wave mold. You don't want you to get sound wave in his full glory. Uh, it's still cool to have laser beak flying out from the back. If that's the case, he's just been holding a weapon and not doing the eject pose there because he's not coming anywhere out. Unless you're saying maybe he's going to be ejecting a second cassette uh, out of his chest, but he's just not got there yet. He's got an orange uh, blast, a fire blast here in front of him, and the flames are coming out of laser beak's butt right to sound waves back. Again, cartoon styling, so his uh, details are minimal. Minimal, not minimum, minimal uh, paint is fairly applied, is applied fairly well on Sally. He's got a little scuff right there. So, uh, surprised by the paint apps on some of these guys. Not bad at all. Uh, I would expect it to be a little bit more messy for the price I'm paying here. Nothing on these guys articulates. They are a static pose of a statue. So let's go ahead and build the Decepticons together real quick. So we can just use the back here of the box so we can get an idea of what we're going to do or what they have here. So is it like this or is it like that? Hmm, to Megatron is like this. So Samway is coming in. So we're going to put that together like that. I don't think that's correct, sir. And the star screen goes in the back somewhere, so let's say uh, back here. He's gonna be on this one, right? He's like this. So we'll just set yeah, like that. Yeah, there we go. And then he's like this. There we go. So we got the Septicons all connected together. Uh sound wave with laser beak, Megatron, and Star Screen. Me, Grimlock, have fire in mouth. So this is Grimlock. He's got his breathing his fire. He's going to torch the Decepticons. This one has the Autobot logo right there on the chest where the other one I had was missing it. Um, paint is fairly done. Is done fairly. I can't get my words in the correct order tonight. It is late, so I apologize. I am tired. Now he's got a little paint scrapage right there on this piece. Now turn to the back side. Not the dark side, but the back side. Not bad. They didn't mold in the rockets. Otherwise, he's not bad at all. I do like him. Uh, Grimlock's probably the best. I would say the best looking overall. Just because he looks pretty much G1 cartoon accurate. No, well, that ones are sort of stylized and look a little wonky in certain ways. Uh, he looks really good. So, Grimlock so far is my favorite that I've opened. So, I'll put him to the side. Whoa, don't throw him. And we'll take a look at Bumblebee. All right, so here's Bumblebee. Um, iconic scenes, you know. Honestly, their poses, uh, I can see them all, maybe, except for Lesbian flying out of Soundwave's back. Bumblebee doesn't really have an iconic pose. Um, maybe being captured. I mean, I've never seen him jumping through purple jelly uh, with some white goo uh, coming out of his feet while he while firing a gun on Cybertron. But yeah, it's. Yeah, he's got a big... Someone's really trying to destroy Bumblebee. I mean, he's got a big-ass fire blast down here. I think Megatron's just really tired of Bumblebee being on the pegs and always being in every toy line. He's just really trying to eliminate him here. 
But yeah, I guess it's supposed to be him jumping through it, so that's the effect of that. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. Too much yellow. These, this yellow goes way too high. This should be more, I think this should be black down here, not yellow. So it just kind of throws off, I think, the overall look of a bumblebee. Also, his face, it looks like uh, somebody's just ready to eat a lot of pastries. I need more. Give me the cake. Uh, paint problems here on the gun. You see he's missing some paint. Uh, yellow kind of overruns in certain places. Otherwise, not bad. Detail is very minimal down here. Uh, actually, it's not VW uh, molding on his feet. It's almost more like the classics, the 2006 or 7 uh, feet. That's like the mold it looks like right there. I guess based on that car. Because uh, this is kind of G1 cartoonish here, though. But this definitely is not. I guess they didn't want to. I guess they couldn't get the licensing to actually make even the feet look like a Volkswagen. Beetle, turn to the back. Hey, he's not bad. He's probably my least favorite. I'm not a big fan of Bumblebee. But the gun here is a very pliable plastic. Gun. It's almost like you're playing with uh, rubber. And he's got a small little uh, orange blast effect. But it's still bigger than Starscream. Starscream has the smallest. All right, here's Optimus Prime. We think he's got a big yellow blast effect. You turn to the side and it's, oh my god. No wonder Alita 1 is not wanting to hang around you, man. That is not impressive at all of a blast effect. Barely even bigger than Bumblebee's. Uh, you're smaller definitely than Megatron. At least Starscream. At least you're bigger than Starscream, right? Right. All right. Uh, Optimus Prime, he looks all right. Uh, uh, the over-exaggeration of the arms and legs kind of throws it off a little bit. The head sculpt's fine oversized and his head's a little bit too big for his body in my opinion but again these are just little cheap statues for a little fun shelf piece nothing to be too serious about but man he's really got some overly styled anime legs you know, like the his, man his legs are really oversized compared to this i got big legs big feet uh turn to the back uh, a little too much blue and hey, why is this cross blue I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that before because his arms hide it, so I couldn't even see that. The whole uh, crotchal place, the waist is blue. It should be, it should be gray. It should match this or white, and then these should be yellow, and they should just the blue right here coming up like a blue diaper. But yeah, so not even it's 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 a little shelf piece. May not this be something good for little kids to have the iconic six of transformers you can say and they can put them together and just have them look nice and they can get them down and play with them like boom 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 again he also has a big blast effect right here at the base and some city buildings in the background for our cybertron so let's put the autobots together all right trying to use the trusty packaging we're going to try to build this scene so we have problems in the front grimlock is in the back so we can see how this has that little lip we can see where all the indentures are to hook on these things so we want someone to go right there. Bumblebee is in the back because he is the weakest. He needs to be in the back because he has to be protected. Let's turn that around. Let's be turned this way. So I'm going to be hooking on Prime like this. So we'll do like that. So that way they're all sort of facing the same direction. Put the box aside. We'll bring in the Decepticons. I unhooked the same way. Now we'll hook it together to form the entire scene. Um... So this isn't how they're going to have to go. So we're going to have to rearrange it. We want to get like how the box shows it there in the back. He's got to go right here up against Optimus Prime. But he, has, he can't come up there. So Grimlock is in the wrong spot. So we're going to have to move him backwards like this. See how it goes. He go like that. There we go. So it's got to be one solid base. There we go. Now we can put him here. That's almost like doing a puzzle. Hey, get sharp with some skills. There we go. Get that brain working. Um, hmm. It just that doesn't seem right. He's got to go this way. Yeah, he's going right here. I hate to say Snow is in the back because he's the weakest, but technically he probably is with these guys. Cause... So there we go. We have built the entire base of the first six. If they make any more, there's plenty of add on points to add new. Um, Statues to this. There's a point here, and of course, all the ones around the Decepticons. It's one in the back. Uh, I guess the Chase variant 
would go somewhere here uh, if it's like another seeker. So again, it's not bad. Nice little shelf piece of a iconic battle scene. Uh, iconic, sure. Yeah, whatever they want to call it. I would choose the word maybe epic, but I even want to go with epic. Uh, cartoonish? Cartoonish battle scene. There we go. Little box out of the way. So, do I recommend this? Sure, why not? If you like non-transforming Transformers and want a fun little shelf piece, sure. Uh, is it worth the 8 bucks per thing? Eh, maybe. I mean, 8 bucks isn't... Compared to how things cost nowadays, that's not bad. I'd actually just say save the 8 bucks and I'll apply that to figures you actually want. Save it for the Studio Series Kingdom. Third party masterpiece, why not? If you have money to spare, go ahead and get these little guys. Uh, you can have a nice little fun battle scene to put somewhere or to give to your kids. And have little statue toys. And it's really not a toy, but they can still kind of play with it as long as they're not too rough. Again, some of this is soft and rubbery. See how I can push down Optimus Prime his hand here, his arms, the gun. Bumblebee the same way. Megatron, his arms sound that way. Grimlock is more solid. The hands do Kind of move. Search cream. The guns are kind of rubbery. Sound wave. Um, the little fire effect for laser beak has some movement. So you can't be rough with this. If you want your kids and use this as a, like a little toy. They can't be rough. But it's it's cheap little price point. So if they do break it. It's like it's not going to set you back 20 bucks. So you know it's just $8. You know problems with this. Megatron he looks the worst in my opinion this the oversized helmet look is like a, like a kid put on a big helmet Bumblebee I don't really like the look of him very much Optimus Prime this looks a little wonky he's so he's so exaggerated in certain spots he just looks off uh Grimlock and Star Crown say probably look the best Soundwave looks pretty good too I mean his pro his proportions are a lot better than some of the other ones uh so he looks pretty cool uh so Soundwave Grimlock Starscream, the three best out of these six. Megatron, definitely the worst in my opinion. Just for the head. I think the worst one overall is Bumblebee. Megatron's the worst because of the head. And Prime's just, he's so weird looking. Again, do I regret buying this? No, because I like anything Transformers. I'm a sucker for just Transformers. So, I can't help myself. I like Transformers. Uh, I'm not looking for greatness out of everything I buy. I'm looking for something that's fun, entertaining, and something that I can get enjoyment out of. And I'll get enjoyment looking at this because Megatron, you know, I don't like it. He's already brought me enjoyment because he's made me laugh. Anyway, I say thanks for watching this review. I'm sorry if I went a little bit longer than I needed to for these, but I had to build it, and it's like putting a puzzle together. Don't worry, you can just use the box to figure it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.